Hey, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, make sure you guys scroll down and hit that subscribe button. If you guys are not new, then welcome back, girl. Make sure you guys check out my social media. It will be on the screen right here. Because if you don't have me on my social media, then what are you doing with your life? You're doing nothing, obviously. So today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I get a slick pack on my hair, you guys. On my very kinky, texture, thick hair. I'm going to show you guys how I get a slick down on this hair today, okay? So the product that I'm going to be using today is this um, styling foam. I've been using this styling foam. I honestly just picked up the cheapest one at the beauty supply. This is a hair polisher styling foam, and this is what it looks like. So if you guys see this with a little foam pump at your beauty supply, this is the one that I use. I don't know the name. And then I also use my Got To Be Glue Gel Freezing Spray, cause we gotta freeze this slick down down. We don't want it popping back up, period. And then I have a comb and a brush, obviously. <laughs> So I use the Eco Styler Olive Oil Gel, you guys, and my freaking thing cracked. So I have it inside a little baggie here, you guys, and this is what we're going to be working with today. I have a do-rag. I got this do-rag from my local beauty supply store. And yeah, you can use any do-rag or you can just use a scarf, but I recommend you use a do-rag because it helps your hair lay down better. So my hair is already damp. I just washed and conditioned it so it doesn't look wet because I am a kinky, kinky texture. But it is. I promise it is. It really is. Can you see that? I literally just slapped the gel on my head. I just take big old scoops of gel normally I will be getting it out of the actual jar but this is what we're doing today and I just slick it down in the direction I want it to go I always do my part on this side so I just slick it down on this side first because it has more hair I go all the way around the back and then I slick this side down to this side and as you guys can obviously see, I haven't combed through my hair. I haven't parted it all for anything yet. I am literally just putting the gel in there. And the reason I do this is just because I think it makes it a little bit easier for me to part the hair and for me to lay it down if I already have the gel in my hair. So now I am just going to place my part wherever I want it to be. And y'all, this is pretty messy. So your hands are gonna get dirty. If you're wearing nails, your nails are gonna get dirty underneath. So yeah, just be aware of that. I like to curve my part a little bit. So yeah, you guys, I'm gonna kinda swoop it just a little bit. I'm just about to start brushing my hair down. I told y'all it's messy. I put that much gel in there just so that it can help me kind of get the slick down process going. Obviously a lot of the gel comes out in the brush. So yeah. And it's going to be a lot of brushing and combing and brushing and combing going back and forth, you guys, to get the slick down to lay how you want it to be laying down. Then I like to kind of go through with the comb. I know it's kind of backwards, but this is just how I do it. And just make sure that there's not really any tangles and stuff to make sure that I can get the slickest lay down as possible with my hair texture. Thank 
Ice is on the beat. So now that I pretty much got the base of the slick down, it's not all the way slick, but it's slick down. It's not laying super flat yet though. I am going to take some of my mousse and I'm just going to put some of this mousse all around my head, y'all. I do the gel first so that can just kind of be the foundation of my lay down. And then I go in with the mousse secondly to make it a little bit more secure and y'all know what they got to be sprayed for. Another thing that I really like to do when I do this style is making sure that I go in with my hand after I brush so that I can lay it down, like keep it laid down, you know? Y'all see the waves coming in? Y'all see them waves coming in? Uh, everybody be asking about my waves and my job. It's so funny. They be like, you got the waves on swim. It takes a lot of time, honey. So now I'm going to go in with my got to be glued free spray. And it really just takes time to see how you want your hair to be laid, you guys. Like right now, I'm not feeling the baby hair, so I am just going to slick my hair down regular. But now, I'm just trying to make sure everything is laying. Let's see? So now I'm going to take my durag and I'm just going to lay it on my head. I know it's pieces sticking up, but. This durag is going to lay everything in place. So what I like to do is hold my durag down, pull the two strings tight on the side, make sure everything in the back is pulled down tight, y'all. Because if it's not, it's not going to be flat in the back, y'all. So I gotta make sure it's pulled down tight. So y'all see how I got the string. So now I'm just gonna wrap my durag around. y'all when I say tight y'all gotta make sure this thing is secure and I'm gonna tie it down and you can either leave this on for like 30 minutes an hour or all night I normally leave my on all night so I can make sure my hair is all the way dry Okay guys, it is the next day and I am back. This is the final slick down on my hair, you guys. If I was actually wearing this today, I would have like laid it down a little bit more. But I just wanted to give you guys the basis of my slick down. This one is actually not a perfect one, but I did show you guys the products and everything on how I do my slick downs. As you guys can see, I have lines all over my head, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe.